welcome back everyone to a continuation of this morning's video. We covered family first. Uh, obviously, we're going to grab some of that. <laughs> Banana, I love that name. Banana, you're awesome, whoever you are. Uh, but make sure you are going ahead and grabbing some of these rewards. It is worthwhile. Honestly, though, uh, 100k points to get on the leaderboard, probably not worthwhile unless you are in a super high tier Megalodon guild. Um, but if you are, congratulations for the miss, a mere mortals that we are. Sadly, that is not going to be the case. But I did allude that we would be, in fact, fighting some of these legions so as you can see we're currently at war and somehow we are currently on top of the ration ranking rewards not entirely sure why but hey let's just delve into it for those who don't know this is the general structure of your legion and basically Basically, you want to have your uh, Legion members that are active defending these towers. The inner courts are going to be for your generals. And the last temple, or should I say palace, is going to be for your, uh, essentially for your strongest player. So, it looks like we're having fun looting uh, this one? It looks like we might be looting this one. Yeah, so it means that we could in fact uh get into the inner court but in order to do that we do need to destroy one of these gates uh we did actually conquer one so for those that are curious you can fight a couple of these towers right so you need to beat two towers to access one of the gates Basically, once you access the gates, you will fight the general that is holding that position. You do need to loot it in order to unlock this one. So basically, I want to say destroy city gates first. It's not gate, it's gate. Well, it's not gates, it's gate. So it's not plural. It's not like you need to destroy all three. Um, you could potentially fight Honestly, I don't think you should. I, I feel like if you're going to coordinate, pick a lane, pick those two towers, defeat that, and then defeat the tower. Sometimes it's better for letting your leaders go first. That was the person that was uh, defending that tower. So unfortunately, they were not strong enough to overcome our, basically our attack. So at this stage, all I really need to do is pretty much hit this. I know that I belong to the Vanguard team and should attack guards, but the reality is, I mean, is it worthwhile? Is it really worthwhile me attacking the guards? And we will get more rations. We will get more loot. This tower has already been taken. Should I fight these ones? Should we just do it for an example? Maybe we can do this as an example. So basically, this is what a fight looks like. Now, like I said, you can probably already tell that the outcome is going to be a victory for me. Um, but in saying that, when you do defeat the tower, you do take off a fair whack of the troops. It's 20 troops, okay? So you can go ahead and pretty much clear uh, at least a tower between two of your legion mates, as long as you... I want to say, as long as you win. <laughs> if you don't win, you can't really do that. Attempts-wise, I mean, look, you can buy four for my VIP class. Might as well just do that. We might as well just clear this tower anyway. Because we are in the Vanguard team, um, I don't know if overall it's going to give us any points. <laughs> we should probably check that before we jump into it. So in terms of like our overall Legion points, we're, we're at like 13.7k. So if I decide to, I don't know, take, if we take this tower, will it go up? That's the question. 13, 7K, we defeat you. We now have that tower. It still hasn't gone up. So interesting. <laughs> interesting. And this, of course, is our Vanguard team. Now, by the time you watch this video, it's probably all over anyway. So don't stress out my fellow beasties. Um, but there you go. If you really look at what we have at the moment, I mean, we don't have a terribly weak Legion. It's not fantastic for an early game server, but it's not terrible. I mean, obviously we had enough to take that. 
and of course destroy tower first now the idea is you do need to loot these towers uh, in order to destroy them so we are going to go ahead and pretty much just keep looting these towers the reason being is we need to get this properly looted in order to get into the inner court um, and of course there are some achievements too so it is definitely worthwhile you buying the additional uh, attempts not to get to vip 15 uh, you will get a couple more additional ones throughout the day every four hours i believe um, but this fight is pretty much going to be over in eight hours anyway so if you are watching this i mean good luck gg Hopefully, this gives you a little bit of a pointer. Now, if you are going to try to fight multiple, probably not a great idea. Um, you probably need to focus on one and one only. <laughs> I just, I feel like that's probably the best option. Unfortunately, we probably didn't communicate. We're going to, to use a lot of probablys in this video. So it doesn't look like we communicated very well. Now, your points are based off the ration system. So if you noticed when I increased the number of rations, i.e. by attacking the actual tower, I did manage to increase our total ration. So throwing away your attempts on towers is kind of a bad idea. You should be focusing on the ones that have already been defeated and loot those ones instead. Now, we are currently ahead i think we may come second depending on what get good does next but in saying that our ranking overall let's have a look to see we're still number 12 i think at the end of the event we may increase we may get a little bit higher we may not it really doesn't matter i think in the end it's going to be interesting to see some of those rewards regardless all right if you do have any questions let me know in the comment section down below um, this is just really a quick video. I might even just post this on Facebook. <laughs> Maybe not. No, too much exposure on Facebook. I'll put this in a video, but like I said, pretty cool. It's not difficult. Maybe just communicate. If you don't have a Discord, make sure you jump into a Discord. Talking about Discords, we do have one in the link in the description field below. Jump in there, say hello. I'll see the OGs in the comment sections, but if you do have any questions, hit me up on Facebook as well. But until next time,